next on Betsy's Kindergarten Adventures. We're going to write and perform a play. What was I going to be? You'll be playing a tree. <gasps> a tree? Mrs. O'Connor has a surprise field trip planned for us. You've got to tell us where we are going. I was up all night. Welcome to the aquarium. Oh, <gasps> See? Breakfast is ready. Coming. Where's Dad? He's upstairs dressing Kevin. And what's our rule about talking with your mouth full? We shouldn't talk with our mouth full. <sighs> okay, Kevin, we're almost finished. I just need to find some pants for you. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now all you need is a shirt and you're all dressed. <laughs> Funny, I, I thought I put pants on you. Oh well. Wait a second. There's something funny going on around here. All finished? Yes. Thank you. Then go brush your teeth. It's almost time for the bus. Okay. Morning, Dad. <sighs> Good morning, kiddo. So, what's for breakfast? We don't have time right now. You took too long getting Kevin ready. Yeah, boy, it seemed like it took forever to dress him. It's funny, but I know just what you mean. <laughs> oh, no! Bye-bye. No. See you later. Bye, Bye Betsy. Betsy. I love Monday mornings. I like Saturdays and Sundays, too. But Monday mornings are always special. Mrs. O'Connor sure makes learning fun. And on Friday, she said we'd all be doing something really different this week. I wonder what it could be. All right, everyone, let's all gather around for morning circle time. This Friday is parents' visiting day. It's a very special day when your family can come to school and see what you've been learning. So I thought it might be fun if we were to present a very special project. Ooh. We're going to write and perform a play. A play? Oh, boy. I've written down parts for each of you on these cards. When I call your name, come up and take a card. Be sure to bring it home so your parents can help you with your costumes. Maria, you're going to play Mother Nature. Yay! Oh, uh, Mrs. O'Connor? Who is Mother Nature? Mother Nature? I guess you could say she's the mother of the forest. She watches over all the things in nature, like plants and animals. So, she's like a mommy? Exactly. Oh! 
Scotty, you'll be playing the park ranger. Sarah will be a deer. Newton will be a rabbit. And Kenji's going to be a beaver. Billy, you're going to be playing a bear. A bear? Cool. Do I get to eat the other animals? <gasps> what? That's not good. Huh? You know, that's not really good. That's not a good idea. You don't get to eat anyone, Billy. You're a friendly bear. Friendly? Aww. <laughs> this was so exciting. I wonder what kind of part I'll get. Molly, you'll be a squirrel. A squirrel? Oh, I love squirrels. They are so cute. And Betsy? Oh, boy. What was I going to be? A swan? A raccoon? Or maybe a... You'll be playing a tree. <gasps> a tree? Golly, I sure wasn't expecting that. Newton, here's a picture of a rabbit. What can you tell me from this picture? Rabbits have long ears. They sure do. What kind of fur do you think they have? Oh, soft fur. Rabbits look like they would have very soft fur. That's right, and they can run very fast. Oh, I know what that is. That's a beaver. That's right, Kenji. Beavers are builders. They build special homes called dams out of wood and mud. Oh, look at his funny flat tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. O'Connor, Mrs. O'Connor. Look, a bear, a really big bear. <laughs> Yes, Billy, bears are very big and very fierce. But in our play, you're going to be a, a friendly, friendly bear. bear. Right, right. Friendly. <laughs> There's the recess bell. Let's get some fresh air, and we'll start work on the play when we get back inside. Betsy, is anything the matter? Well, kind of. I don't think being a tree is going to be much fun. Oh, Betsy, trees are much more interesting than you think. They are? Yes, indeed. We'll talk more about it after recess, okay? Okay. I don't understand what Mrs. O'Connor meant when she said that trees were interesting. They aren't cute like squirrels or exciting like bears. They're just trees. <sighs> Betsy, do you want to ride on the swing with us? No, thanks. Thinking about the play? Uh-huh. I don't think I want to be in the play. What? And give up show business? You have to be in the play, Betsy. <sighs> Billy, my family went camping last summer and we saw lots of trees. Those trees didn't do anything. They just stood there. Did you see any deer on your camping trip, Betsy? We sure did. A mother deer with two babies. They were so beautiful. Uh, what about rabbits? Did you see any rabbits? We sure did. My silly dog, Gracie, started chasing one. Oh, no, that poor rabbit! Oh, don't worry. Gracie couldn't catch him. But when the rabbit finally got tired of playing with Gracie, he jumped into a rabbit hole at the base of a big old tree. And that rabbit was lucky to have his house under the roots of that big tree. There was no way Gracie could get to him. But what about bears? Did you see any big, ferocious bears? <laughs> Not exactly a ferocious bear. The next morning, the park ranger took us to a place where we all saw a cute little bear cup. He was very funny and very cute. What about squirrels? You can't go into a forest and not see squirrels. Oh, we saw lots of squirrels. But they stayed in the branches of the trees, eating acorns and chattering at us as we walked by. Squirrels are so cute! They 
sure are. That's why I don't want to be in the play. Trees don't do anything. Don't be silly, Betsy. Trees do lots of things. You just said so yourself. I did? When? Just now when you told us how a tree was a hiding place for a rabbit. And gave a mother deer and her babies dinner. And gave the squirrels a place to eat and stay away from Gracie. And was a back scratcher for a bear. It sounds to me like trees are very important. Golly, you're right. Trees are important. I hadn't realized how important trees were. Maybe playing a tree wouldn't be so bad after all. Good evening. I'm Principal Warner. Welcome to Parents' Visiting Day. Mrs. O'Connor's class has worked very hard on this program, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Where's that opening? Oh, for goodness sake. Principal Warner, over here. Eh, uh, enjoy the show, everyone. Mr. Forest Ranger, I just need one more tree to finish making my dam. Well, all right. How about this tree here? Perfect. I am Mother Nature, and you mustn't cut down this tree. Why, Why not? not? I think I will let that tree tell you herself. I may look like a plain old tree to you, but a lot of animals in this forest depend on me. They do? Yes, they do. Take Mr. Rabbit. Uh, my rabbit hole is down by the roots of this tree. This tree is my home. Please don't cut it down. Yes, and the leaves on this tree are my favorite food. Please don't cut it down. Yes, and I live up in the branches. I have the best view of the entire forest. So please, do not cut this tree down. <gasps> Who is that coming towards us? It sounds like a friendly bear. <laughs> I said friendly bear. <laughs> Oops. I mean, uh, uh, hello, everybody. Hello, friendly bear. Ah, uh, uh, mm, that's better. Uh, how's my favorite back scratcher? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mr. Beaver, but I'm afraid I can't let you cut this tree down. Oh, no. How will I finish building my house now? Fear not, Mr. Beaver. I know where there are some old logs near the river that will give you all the wood you need to finish building your home. Hooray! <laughs> My mom and dad said I was a very good tree. I even got flowers. One thing's for sure, I'll never look at trees the same way ever again. Trees really are special. about kindergarten is that you never know what to expect each day. Weekends are fun, but I like school better. There's nothing to be afraid of. That's just Betsy's goldfish. It can't hurt you. Good morning, Mom. What's with Kitty? Oh, Kitty was frightened by your fish, that's all. Scared of Goldie? Why? Well, you see, sometimes when you don't know about something, it can seem scary. Oh, right. Like my first day of school. 
That was scary at first, but now I love it. Exactly. I can tell you're very excited about today. Excited? Am I ever. Mrs. O'Connor has a surprise field trip planned for us. And I love field trips. Good morning, Bouncing Betsy. Looks like someone's excited for the big trip today. <laughs> I'll say. Bus driver Bob, do you know where we're going? <sighs> Mrs. O'Connor must have told you. Come on, just one clue? Oh, well, I sure do know, Betsy. Mrs. O'Connor trusted me with this most important secret, and I promised her I would not tell a soul. Bus driver's honor. Oh, please, bus driver Bob. I just can't take it. I need to know. Just give me a little clue. No can do, Betsy. Official bus driver code section 11, paragraph 6, clearly states, and I quote, <clears throat> A good bus driver shall never divulge a teacher's secret surprise plan for a field trip. Well, okay. That does sound official. One way you can find out, though. Yes? Tell me, I'll do anything. Climb aboard and let's get to school so we don't end up missing the trip. <laughs> good idea. Okay, everyone, come together for morning circle, please. Quickly. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. Okay, Mrs. O'Connor, I can't take it any longer. You've got to tell us where we are going. I was up all night. Oh, the suspense. I have to know. Me too, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm glad to see everyone is excited about today, and I am as well. Now, I'm going to tell you a clue. That should help you guess where we're going today and what we will be learning about. Ready? Yes! Yeah. Okay, one of the things we'll learn about today is the largest animal that ever lived. Does anyone know what that is? Uh, easy, Mrs. O'Connor. An elephant. We're going to the zoo. Good guess, Newton. But actually, the largest animal to ever live is a giraffe. We must be going on a safari. Mm, sorry, boys, but I happen to know that a dinosaur is much larger than an elephant or a giraffe. We're going to the dinosaur museum. Well, Mrs. O'Connor, who's right? Where are we going? Actually, those are all good guesses, but the largest animal to ever live is the blue whale. What? A whale? We're going to the ocean? Oh, no, oh, no. I can't swim, and all that stuff is going to be bad for my hair. <laughs> Don't worry, Maria. We're going to the aquarium. The aquarium is a place where you can see and learn about many different ocean animals. What's wrong, Kenji? Oh, I don't know, Betsy. Ocean creatures? I saw a scary movie about ocean creatures, and I don't want anything to do with them. It turns out the only thing Kenji knew about the ocean was what he saw in movies. No wonder he was scared. It was up to us to teach Kenji about the ocean so he would not be afraid any longer. Okay, everyone, we're here. Welcome to the aquarium. Oh, that is really sexy. Now I would like to introduce you to my friend, Diver Dave, who works here at the aquarium taking care of all of these magnificent creatures. He's going to take us on our tour. Good morning, boys and girls, and thank you, Mrs. O'Connor. Welcome. I'm Diver Dave, and my job here at the aquarium is to feed and take care of all the animals, as well as teach youngsters like yourselves about the wonders of the ocean. Now, I'd like you to follow me and meet some of my friends. Stay close. I don't know about this, but see, it's dark in here, and the glass doesn't look very thick. Do you think it will hold? I don't want any of these fish getting out and coming after me. Hmm, the glass break? Can that happen? Um, no, Kenji, I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, first creature. Who can guess? This creature can have four, five, six, or even more arms. They can change colors, their arms are covered in tiny little tube feet, and if they lose an arm, don't panic, a new one grows in its place. Any ideas? I know. 
A starfish. You guessed it, young man. A starfish. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, wow. That is so nice. Cool. <gasps> look at those colors. I love the purple one. Yes, ma'am. These are some beautiful little creatures, aren't they? Important thing to remember, if you ever see one of these little guys washed up on the beach, get it right back into the water. They won't live very long on land. Anyone want to feel? All righty, just line right up. Come on, Kenji, you can do it. They just feel bumpy and their feet are tickly. No thanks, Betsy. I see that mouth on the bottom there. I don't want to get swallowed up. Could that happen? I don't think that could happen, Genji. Billy, I'm gonna need that starfish back now. I'm trying, I'm trying. He's eating my arm. What? Whoa! Whoa! Get him off! Get him off! Whoa! That was a close one. I could have been swallowed. See, Betsy, I told you. Oh, don't be worried, Billy. The starfish was just afraid of you. Okay, kids. Next up, we have a very funny creature who moves by opening and closing its body. It is shaped kind of like an umbrella. Any guesses? Ooh, me. Me, Diver Dave. Uh, jellyfish? A very good bus driver, Bob. Yes, sir, I know all about jellyfish. On summer vacation last year, I became well acquainted with one while I was swimming. I was feeling that for a week. Do jellyfish really sting, Diver Dave? That is absolutely correct, Scott. That's why we won't be petting this one. Did you hear that, Betsy? Jellyfish sting. Even though they sting, there's nothing to fear. Sure, it hurts a bit, but it goes away right quick. See, Kenji? Oh. Come on, Kenji. Let's see what's in there. Whoa! Oh, it's just a plant. Ow! He's got me! I see you've met one of our sea anemones. I sure did. Thanks again, Diver Dave. I don't think there's anything here that won't eat you. But... This was harder than it looked. All right. Does anyone know what we have here? Oh, Mrs. O'Connor told us about this. That is a blue whale. Very good, Sarah. This here is a blue whale. Well, it's a pretend blue whale. Seeing as though the blue whale is the largest animal ever to live, we would have a tough time holding this guy in our little aquarium here. So this is just a model of what one would really look like. By my calculations, this blue whale is huge. You can say that again. This guy can grow to be 100 feet long. 50 people could stand right on his tongue. Ew! Why would they? And check out this cool fact. Everyone make a fist with your hand like this. Good. Now that's how big your heart is. This blue whale's heart is as big as a small car. What? Now, can anyone guess what something this huge might like to snack on? Oh, 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 something big like a shark? Or lots of big fish? Kids? Not quite. Believe it or not, the blue whale eats teeny tiny fish from the ocean called plankton that are so small you can barely even see them. They must have to spend their whole day eating. And they do. That thing could swallow my whole house. But they only eat little fish. Yes, but what about when they get real hungry? Hmm. Ah, that smell! What is that? Ugh, it is positively disgusting. Oh, that smell. Well, that's just lunch. Oh, oh no. I think I'll pass. Don't worry, it's lunch for Lucky. Lucky's a seal. He's been working on some new tricks to show you guys. But if it's okay with you, Mrs. O'Connor, I'll be needing two volunteers. Sounds good. Let's see here. How about 
Whoa, me! Me, Mrs. Clown! Pick me! Seals are my favorite! Well, okay then, Billy and... No, no, no. Just look the other way. I'll be safe. How about Kenji? Bye, Betsy. It was nice knowing you. Okay, first off, we need to get lucky up here. Now, Billy, do exactly as I do, and we're going to get lucky to jump through this ring here. Okay, Billy, give him a treat. Oh, boy, my favorite part. Okay, Billy, hold up your hoop. Get ready for one more jump. Oh, no! Nice fella. Easy there. Please don't eat me. Just relax. I'm just a kid. I don't taste good. You're not so bad after all. <laughs> I think you like me. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed learning all about the wonderful ocean world today. Unfortunately, many of these ocean animals are endangered. Dolphins, sharks, coral, sea turtles, and this guy up here will be gone from this planet forever. Gone? That is terrible. What are we supposed to do? Well, one thing that all kids can help with is keeping our Earth clean and not littering. That garbage can make its way into the water, harming ocean animals. You can do your part by making sure your garbage ends up in the trash, not on the ground. We can do that. I want to help keep the ocean animals safe. We yeah, will. We will. We will. We will. So our surprise trip to the aquarium turned out to be a blast. And Kenji saw that learning all about something is the best way to get over your fear of it. Visit